In this week's Forever Home, we are at the Central Vermont Humane Society, and today we are meeting Baxter. We're calling him a big little boy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's a big, big guy. little boy. He is a young uh, dog, just over a year, but he's yeah. a pretty good sized dog. Mm -hmm. um, he's very athletic. He's um, a stunning in his looks. Gorgeous, and he's yeah. a very smart dog. He's mm -hmm. doing really well here with us in his training and learning his um, manners that he didn't necessarily learn as a puppy. Right. So we're working on that. So what has he learned since he's been here? Well, he's now got a sit, which is helpful for working on one of his least desirable behaviors, which is jumping up to greet people. Got it. So we're working with him on having him sit when he greets people, because if he's sitting, he can't be jumping at the same time. Training also includes the dreaded crate. He spent a lot of time in a crate in his um, home previously and that was one of the reasons that they were looking to uh, surrender him was they just didn't have the time to give to a young dog. Mm -hmm. So we're working with him to sort of change how he feels about a crate right. so that it's not a, a bad thing to spend some time in a crate. Now how would you describe his personality? Well, he's kind of this young, goofy boy. He is, um, yeah. And he's just a happy-go-lucky, wants <laughs> to greet everybody, yeah. um, really likes people. Um, maybe could be a little too much for kids because okay. of his jumping up that he's still working on. Um, so certainly, you know, small kids um, would probably not be the best fit for him. Baxter is dog selective. Some dogs are a hit, others a miss. And while he has lived with kids and cats, they aren't exactly the best fit. I would just guess on his behaviors, maybe probably not um, the best thing for him for cats, but mm -hmm. every animal is an individual. And so I, we don't like to make blanket statements that they wouldn't like any cat. So exactly, yeah. Some of it is the right cat, the right dog. They can live happily together. This hound mix needs a family that is confident working with a dog of his size. Erica says she has one request for his new owners doing a lot of things with him, keeping him moving, keeping his brain engaged. Mm -hmm. He does get bored. Um, so we work on, you know, like uh, feeding him with food puzzles um, and just keeping him engaged. Just the basics for a growing pup. His only real needs are that he's a young dog, that, right. that somebody needs to keep working with him. True. And, uh, his adoption fee will include a training class so that the um, new family uh, can also develop the skills that will mm -hmm. help them to work with him. If you think you have what it takes to handle this handsome fella, make sure to give the Central Vermont Humane Society a call. Sit, good. Oh, Pa, <laughs> I'm going to eat you. You're probably going to eat me first. Paul Xeni Manjari, Local 44 News, East Montpelier.